Hey guys, Jeff here with Ghost Knight Gaming, and as the sun comes up, we'll continue on with what we're working on. So I had a couple of random thoughts and some stuff to play with, so I just gotta take a look. Alright, so that's rising in the east, that means that's north. Okay. So one of the things I want to do is kind of play with some more toys here, and we're going to start by placing that right there. Alright. So, can I get that to project into the sky? Do I have to power it? I don't know. I guess I'm going to find out. I'm going to have to experiment with this thing, eh? So, it's at this one. I'm going to place I'm going to place one in each corner. Cuz I like oh. Right there. All right. So, I'm going to experiment with that in just a second here. Once I figure out where all of them go. Did I put it under? Yeah, I put it under. Hey, I put it in the right spot this time. <laughs> Alright, so I've placed four. Now I'm going to go into creative. Where are you? Grab a redstone torch. I'm gonna replace my birch fence because I can do that later. I power it? No. Hey, when you choose powers for your beacon to grant. Okay, continue. In the beacon menu, you can select one primary power for your beacon. Uh, more tiers your pyramid has, the more powers you will have to choose from. Oh, okay. Secondary power, cool. Okay. A beacon on a pyramid with at least four tiers grants an additional option of either regeneration secondary power or stronger primary power. To set the powers of your beacon, sacrifice emerald, diamond, gold ingots in the payment slot. Once set, the powers will emanate from the beacon indefinitely. Okay. Okay, well, in that case, i quickly uh, move this here. Okay, that's cool. Okay, something new. And I'm going to... Sure, let's, let's use emerald here. Explain to me how uh, pyramid or how these work. Um, I guess I have to. I'm gonna have to. What does it have to be built up on? Probably diamond. Gas. be a better idea. 
gonna do this instead. That way I don't uh, I hinder my floor any more than I need to. I'm in range of the haste. Oops. Okay, I gotta fix my floor because I broke part of it. Ah. Uh, Easily, just to fill it out. And this one I can just leave on the floor. I replace the floor. Voila! Aha! Not only do we have the flames, but the beacons are lit! Alright, Gondor. We will come to your aid. Okay, now let's take a look. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I like it. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I had fun with that. Now the beacons are lit. Cool. Okay, so now what should I do next? Oh, I know what I was going to do next. Okay, so the next thing on the dock it for things I want to do is I want to set the waterfalls. So there's going to be water coming down all the way in there and going down into those side uh, spots. But what I needed to do was build it up to it. Um, so I kind of have to... Okay, so I'm going to start... Trying to figure out a good place to start that doesn't hamper me too much. And I can do it everywhere and it's easy to find. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my level for this with this for now. This is where they're going to start. That way it's starting at the same place on every side. So there's going to be a fair bit of trial and error here, but once I'm done, it should look awesome. At least it should. Now, there's a lot of this. Okay, so this is where the first water is going to go. Okay, so basically how this works... Oh, nice. That's actually going to work better than I thought. Okay, so I'm going to set that one. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to do this really quick. 
Okay, so all that's set. Now all I gotta do... Okay, go down just a little bit. And cut that off. No, it's still gonna go... It's still gonna go wide. Wise, you know what? I'm okay with that, and that's actually kind of cool with it coming through the clouds. It's like it's raining. Uh, that is kind of awesome. So, I think we may have met our goal there. <coughs> now, I'm gonna have some sporadic balconies at certain points in the tower where there will be additional torches and lighting. Um, let's go up and look, and you can actually kind of see the beacons from the bottom. Not much, but you can see them. And voila, so there's what it looks like now at night with the beacons lit and the torch upon it. Um, I think that looks pretty cool. So, aha, we are making progress here. So yeah, so the water has been laid and uh, you can see it trickling down alongside. I could have done it with lava, I had thought about that, but... Um, you know, just to make it uh, very unapproachable. But, you know, I think the water will look a little bit better with the obsidians. So, maybe we'll add some lava somewhere. Just because, why not? Right? So, hmm. That seems to be going relatively according to plan. Yeah. Okay, not bad. All right, it seems we have made some progress, a little bit more progress here. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do next with this thing, and we'll continue working on this build. Ooh, 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 ah. Sorry, <laughs> easily distracted. Hope you guys enjoyed checking this out. Uh, let me know about some of your crazy builds and some of the neat stuff you guys have done. Uh, links, pictures, all that kind of stuff. Love to see and hear about it. Uh, let me know on my Facebook, on uh, Instagram, or uh, here on YouTube, or even on Twitch. Come chat with me there and let me know about the stuff you've been doing on Minecraft or anything else. Uh, let me know any games I should try out, anything else I should try that's along the similar lanes, uh, similar veins as Minecraft. Let me know. I'm always looking for new, interesting, buildy stuff to play. So, hope you guys enjoyed checking this out. Out, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys again next time. Have fun, keep gaming.